All right, I want to show you a little bit of the equipment that we have here. And uh, over here, to my right, we're going to see an ice maker. And this is going to become a working machine. It is a machine that actually works. It comes from McDonald's. It was donated by McDonald's. Uh, as you can see, if I point to this here, this contactor, it's a three-phase contactor. And, and you can see part of it, the compressor inside of it, and in this bin here is where the, actually the ice works. And I'm going to also show you some videos of this online later on, and what website you can see some videos on ice machines now. And we're going to walk over to here to see the second part of this unit because it has a rooftop part called the condenser. The condenser is right here. This goes on the roof. And actually it doesn't have a compressor in it. It actually has a fan and the coil. So the refrigerant comes here to get cooled off and it goes back in here to pick up heat. That's what refrigerant does in a closed circuit system. It picks up heat at the evaporator section. Even a home system, like a split system that you have inside the house and you have the outside part, is it's the same thing. Same principles apply to ice machines and even refrigeration. That's why learning the basics is very important. Then you can just build upon that. Um, it gets rid of the heat here, which is called latent heat, hidden heat is getting, uh, this condenser on the roof has to be clear from any kind of obstruction so air can actually rotate around the coils and properly cool the refrigerant and come back down into this machine. And over here, we're gonna take a walk and we're gonna look at this little refrigerator, which is a dual purpose one. You'll see these in McDonald's where it actually, they put yogurt, salads in here, and on the bottom two, these were, are called medium temperature machines. High temperature refrigeration is actually used for home comfort, for cooling. Uh, this other machine here too, uh, which is next to our coffee maker, is actually a low temperature cooler. And this one has the compressor on the top. Compressor is on the top as well as your condenser and your evaporator is inside of here, which uh, also provides low temperature cooling. And the other machine that we have is located over here. McDonald's uses this machine for french fry storage. And for them to actually have properly cooked french fries, it has to be frozen, and this machine freezes the french fries. So a worker comes with the little basket, puts it underneath here, and it drops in the basket, and they immediately put it in the fryer so it could cook. This is a very low temperature machine. It goes down to minus eight sometimes, or minus nine. And we actually, when we received this equipment that I just showed you uh, from McDonald's, we had to, I had to actually call up the company, Frank, and get to know the working pressures on it. If you're not familiar with any kind of equipment in this field, you got to get your information either from your boss or the company that makes the equipment. After working with similar equipment, you don't really have to do that because obviously you become knowledgeable on how it works. So you would have to know what the working pressures are on this so that way you know if it's got sufficient amount of refrigerant. And remember, not all machines take the same refrigerant. These here take 404A. Probably in your home or apartment, you are using 22 and 410A. And they work differently. And they work differently in different areas in, in this part of the country. Also here, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna show you what we see a lot in air handlers, which this is what's called your roll cage or squirrel cage fan. And it's designed in a way to scoop air and send it to your duct system. And what's included with this here, I'm just giving you a brief 
brief look here at what's going on. And this is your heating element, okay? And your heating element, actually, this part heats up and this air goes right through this to provide to your duct system. And these have numerous safety switches. Right now, we're covering some of these safety switches and you guys are gonna be able to learn some of it too. Uh, I'm gonna introduce some of them because they work off uh, heat. Metal works off of heat. Certain metals bend certain ways when they get heated up. And also, going back to the board, when you work with a meter, you have to know a lot of times if there's continuity. And for example, that coil I was just showing you, you apply the same basic concept if, uh, let's say it's not working, as if compared to if there's voltage running in a line like this. And when you, let me turn around here, when you look at this parallel circuit and serial circuit, by now you should have it all figured out what these schematic signs mean. You will know where to put the meters at. 